Previously on the Abley YouTube channel, Kenzie and I scored a very rare spot at Shushwap Provincial. Now unfortunately the weather outside was bacon hot and BC. The temperature today was 39 degrees, 102 Fahrenheit and there was heat warnings everywhere we went. Now we didn't have air conditioning only when the generator running so we knew it was going to be hot and we knew there'd be a lot of swimming just to cool down. The lake temperature that day was 24.5 so that's not really much of cooling down at all but Kenzie and I were looking forward to this new adventure. We did a little skid on, from National Lampoon's Christmas vacation here. Theater's full, Clark. I thought it was pretty funny, so that's why I included it. And then we filled up the trailer with water and continued on to our spot. And this is where I jinxed myself. I never should have said anything. How many rounds, guys? We're going for one. One this time. I'm saying four. We're going to edit to one. <laughs> I think four. Okay, I wish I could go. edit to not happen at all, but this is what happened. So I was back in the trailer in, and I don't know if you've ever back to trailer in, but what's at, when it's at 90 degrees, the truck, you can't see the passenger side of the trailer. So, And I couldn't swing the truck because there was trees on the passenger side around. So I should have got out and checked the mirrors more often, and I didn't, and it's completely my fault, but this is what happened. I backed into a tree with a tw our $20,000 awning. So just caught the edge of the tree and Kenzie was extremely upset. Hi. Hi guys. Okay, so we popped the awning cover off. Little did I know it was twisted also. I think it's okay. So I pulled my guts back together and just got back into backing up. Now I've really been working with Kenzie on trailer etiquette, how to guide people in and how to level the trailer. So we went through a little skit on that right after we had a hug, just to hug it out. Kenzie was so upset and it wasn't her fault at all, but she thought it was. So From there, I really should have just packed it up, but we decided to stay and... Just try to make the best of it. Locks. So that night I raised the flag and continued on with our day. Now let's go on to part two. Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Avley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living. Exploring every opportunity that is presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. And every adventure begins with one leg at a time. And now the continuation of when things go wrong, camping at Shushua Provincial. Hey there guys, welcome to another episode of Burning Meat with Andrew. Tonight we're going to burn some bison. So my dear daughter has decided she wants quesadillas with hamburger. So unfortunately the hamburger is frozen. So we're cooking it from frozen. And then we're going to put it with the cheese and the um, um, tortilla shells. So. So far, we just got it on the grill. I got the grill on medium and just working to break it down here. So we got, um, we actually got a quarter of a bison, you know, a big bison um, from my wife's sister. They have a big farm. So each one of the kids, um, they graciously, we paid for the butcher fees, but they graciously gave us the, um, 
the animals meat so that smoke a deal and I gave half of ours to daddy Jeff because my wife doesn't really eat that kind of meat so it's still a lot and then this is the first time cooking the bison hamburger but my wife's cooked it and she says it just tastes right like regular hamburger except sweeter hi cowboy I know you called the meat burner the west you better not burn that meat <laughs> She's a big talker, but she doesn't cook herself, so. I do. We'll I find out how this goes. I so. cooked you eggs the other morning. I'll come back to you guys once, um, once the meat's starting to, to break down. Okay, so this is how it's working out. This is what I'm dangling with here. My wife got this nice little cover, it says Blackstone on it, so, ooh, it's pretty fancy. I'll bring it back just a hair. Kenzie's standing next to me, giving me some brilliant tips. So that's what I'm dangling with there. That doesn't look good. Um, but I could use some spice, Miss Kenzie. So it looks like regular hamburger, you know, you hear bison and it's like... Salt, here. pepper, paprika. And can you use spice or you want me to? You can, because I don't want to over season it. Okay. Just like that. I'll mix it, but you can. That's what we're dangling with. Okay, move the camera Paprika. back. Good hair. Oh. Paprika. Yeah, point blank range. Paprika. That's working. You know what we could do, kick it up a notch, is um, melt the cheese into the hamburger, pre-melt it. Pre-melt the cheese? It's not the same. Okay, there you go. I feel like it would become a sticky mess with grill. What do you guys think? I'll take Kenzie's advice, because Kenzie's the, the pro chef, apparently. She's a cowboy and a pro chef. chef. No, no, I'm not a cowboy. That's George. So going back to my beer. So we'll update you guys as we go. So we're doing quesadillas. So uh, tortilla, cheese, hamburger, quesadilla, or cheese again, and then, then basically do a sandwich and then flip it over. So if you've never had quesadillas, that's what they are. And then I'll probably find for mine find kind of some kind of sauce. So. Um, if you guys didn't notice the temperature, yeah, is what 104 Fahrenheit. So yeah, it's cooking. We got the generator running in Shrek over here trying to get the air conditioning through the trailer. You only got two hours to run it, six to eight at night. So we got to run it and get it as cool as we can in there for night. So it's kind of nice to have this generator. It's a Yamaha 3000. I'll put a picture of it up here, but it's super quiet. And in Shrek, I got it piped outside the exhaust outside. It's, it's ideal. So the plan is we're going to have this and then continue on with our camping trip. So I know it's a big shocker guys, get ready. Um, but burning meat with Andrew burnt some meat. I had it on low and yeah, bad things happened. So yeah, another episode of burning meat with Andrew. Today we burned bison. Very expensive bison meat, but it's it's not terrible, but it's um, it's crispy. So now we are going on to put the quesadillas down. Okay, so we just re-oiled the grill and we're just scraping it down. Um, the hamburger is just to the side here, as you can see, and this. This burner is just on low. Uh, we just used virgin cooking oil on it, so I'm just scraping the burn marks to the side. I think my assistant's gonna help me with the quesadillas. Okay, let's let's get some dangling going on. So this is what we're working with: a bag of cheese, some um, tortillas. And then we put salt and pepper and a little bit of paprika in it. So let's see how it goes.
I know some people say Tortilla. What's you? What's gonna be your job there, Tortilla? I'm not Tortilla. You can. Are you gonna do the cheese? Am I gonna do the hamburger? Okay. So me and Kenzie have a process here. I put you put that down. I put it down, and it's like a mad rush. This is two. She's trying to jinx me right off the get go. That is two. Look at that. She's just trying to jinx me, guys. Well, they're stuck together. She's saying, "Oh, you're burning me with Andrew." Okay. Are we ready for this tortilla action? Yes. Okay. Um, let's move my friends so they're closer. Okay, that's what we're dangling with. We're gonna put the tortilla down. Put that down. I got my paint scraper here. I'm gonna do a little, a little like that action. And Kenzie's putting some cheese down. And then we'll get the top on. We'll get the top on and then. Remember, the first one's always the worst one. Oh, we're doing them like that? I thought we were folding them. Oh. Oh, fancy. Kenzie wants to fold them, okay. Well, that's what we normally do. Okay. That's why I said Oh, I get it. See, guys? It's okay. The first one's always the first one. So if we had a dog, that so that's what we're dangling with there. Kenzie's got a bag of cheese there. And there's our hamburger, or sorry, bison meat. And we're going to warm it up to melt the cheese. And then let's... Oh. A little bit, like she said, a little bit too much hamburger. Maybe more cheese on the next one. That's okay. A little bit more glue. More cheese, less. Meat. Now, do we have a plate we can put this on, Miss Kenzie Bear? Yes. We're doing the flat technique with the old paint scraper. Uh, I'm sure the cooks out there are just saying, "Oh my God!" Andrew. I brought but that out. I'm I'm literally this bad. I'm not trying to make a scene, but I'm this bad. So, anybody's got any tips with the Blackstone, or want to see Daddy Jeff teach me how to use the Blackstone? Let me know. So we're just flipping it, flipping it, flipping it, and that's what it looks like there. It looks like basically grilled cheese, and that's the meat. The first ones always sometimes comes out like the worst. So basically, through the magic of editing, I'll make the the last one the first one. Yeah. So it'll look like we know something. Okay, I think we're almost ready for another one. No? Yep. Okay. I thought we'd get it crispy. More? Yeah. Okay. Because that didn't look very crispy. Okay. He wants it more crispy. Like not burnt, but let's, you know. Let's start another one right there. Can we do that? Yeah. And then I think. Less meat. So there's a little bit of less meat. More cheese. More cheese. There. So my wife's at home because she's working. So me and Kenzie are out here camping for a couple days. Clamping, sorry. More my cheese. bad. And then we're going to head out and work on the um, elevated deck project. So like I was saying earlier, yes, it's 104 degrees Celsius here. Oh, Kenzie's got new techniques, so we're doing this action. Here. Okay, this one's probably good. So that's what it ended up like, guys. Good. Oh, sorry, my bad. What? Well, show my friends. Your friends can get too much. So that's what that one turned out like. Yes, typical dad, we're using paper plates. You know how expensive paper plates are these days? It's crazy. But because we're clamping, I, and just imagine 23 BHE is not that big of a water tank. So when we get to. Um, the elevated deck project they've got um, really awesome water so I'm looking forward to that fill the tanks with that for sure plan is to eat these snacks or dinner sorry and then head back swimming Kenzie's learning how to paddle board so we're focusing on that routine
that one there. We're seeing this um, this cheese as a vegetable for all the mums out there. It's, it's a very high nutrient nutrient vegetable. It makes it taste. So therefore, that's our cheese food group. That's a bit. Too I much think cheese. I think tortillas are a, a I think they're a corn anyways, aren't they, guys? Correct me in, in the comments, but. Look at this, guys. Maybe I'm cooking. Look out, Daddy Jeff. I'm coming for you. Maybe we can take this one off so we don't burn it. Put it there and then... So we did have a little incident today that we're dealing with. Um, I decided to back the trailer into a tree. So we ripped off the cover off the awning. Nothing big, just a little plastic part snapped off. So We got a life lesson here. You want to sit on the table, So we're trying to get the trailer down to at least 23 and then hopefully open the windows after. After we run out of meat, do you want to do cheese ones or be good or? That's enough. Okay. We'll do one more and then that will give us a lot. Yeah. Right? Cheese? So that's where we're at now. That's the finished product there. And that's what it looks like. I don't know, I've never I've never had bison before this and uh, we have it and it's like it's I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's gonna sound funny, but it's like a sweet hamburger. It's really good and it's really expensive, so we're so thankful to have the opportunity to be able to try this. But no, I'm not gonna cook a steak because the steaks are probably fifty or sixty dollars a steak. And I'll burn them. So I'm actually bringing steaks out to the um, elevated deck owner. He's a barbecue master. So we're going to have some bison then. Should I turn it up a little bit? You want to get them crispy. Okay, we'll turn it up. Sure, we're still not propane. We do, yeah. So that's what dinner looks like. I'll come back to you once we cut it up and give you some honest food reviews which will be just peachy okay so that's what we're dangling with there we're all done let's take to take the first bite try to burn our face off so that's what it looked like there it's good it's good Bison quesadillas. Let's continue on eating. guys so sitting here take my leg off and of course I've got Terry with me Terry Fox and you know just sitting here I think of oh, sorry I'm just getting a better spot I think of that clip and I'll roll it right here of, of Terry going swimming with the kid that lost so what inspired Terry were the children he was trying so hard to help children like Greg Scott I'm, I'm crying now because I there's somebody here right now who is going through the same thing that I went through. The exact same thing, and he's only 10 years old. And I, I had the most inspirational uh, day of my life today. And so Terry gave himself an afternoon off from the Marathon of Hope to swim with Greg. It was just the fourth day off in 137 days on the road. Just as third day off in the entire marathon he took the time to go swimming and they show the two of them going in the lake laughing and playing all in one leg and 
just makes me think of it every time I go into the lake, I think of that. Hey there guys, so this weekend's just gone from bad to worse. I hit the tree, knocked the awning off, which or not in cover, which I know you guys aren't gonna believe it, but the dealer told me this awning on this grand design, because it's so long, it's worth $20,000. $20, so I was like freaking out to make sure that, you know, it wasn't straight, it was tweaked. It's working fine. And actually this little plastic cover here is available on Amazon it's 35 bucks so I've already ordered it and it's gonna be here so <sighs> that's not bad at all I'll show you where it's come off here so see the edge of the awning there it's supposed to have a cover on to be waterproof so the other end here I'll show you what it should look like that's what it should look like there honestly I'm not upset with Kenzie at all like it it should have been me getting out double checking the trees you know i knew it was tight in here because i was i was so worried about the trees hitting the truck in the front i'll show you how tight it is on the street but it's just one of those things you know you can see um, i'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but there's my tire tracks going on the edge and there's the tree and the just the rub mark there as you can see but as you can see, because my, my truck is so long, when you back in, you're, you're dealing with trees on the side. Morning. Morning, sir. Just the park guy. But you've got trees here, and that's right where my truck needed to swing. So I was more worried about trying to jackknife the, tra the trailer and then get enough room to keep jerking it to get it in. I know it's not a right good word to say but I'm gonna say that so you know Kenzie's only 12 and you know it's not her fault it's definitely not her fault and I kind of as the next clip shows I, I just kind of wanted to um, you know just breeze by it so we went and went for a quick swim because we were just so hot and came back cooked the quesadillas as you guys will see and then we kind of called it called it a night but the next day I filmed the whole day and the memory card didn't work out and then last night I think I just got too much sun I got I got heat stroke it I just got kicked the heck out of it so this is the next next Friday uh, two nights over or two mornings over and we're, we're just going home we were supposed to go to the elevated deck project and help them. I got nice bison steaks all marinated in the fridge, but I just don't feel up to it. I just, the sun just kicked the heck out of me yesterday. Kenzie's fine. I was harping on her to drink, drink lots of water, drink lots of water. And I just wasn't really thinking about myself. So I kind of failed you guys. So I thought I'd have a killer video here, but I got some footage and, you know, I did my best to, Kind of show what it's really like, you know, things happen. Hello. I love this early in the morning. People are just waking up and kids are flying around on their bikes just like I would have done as a kid. So he says he can go faster. <laughs> I don't want to be the creepy guy because I have no idea who that kid is, but. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so unfortunately this kind of video ends ends here, but I definitely definitely 100% don't blame Kenzie at all and you know We had to talk about it and it's she says it's her fault still, but no, it's it's definitely my fault I should have been watching and I should have got out and checked and you know all the cameras in the world, but when you're backing up and the, the truck is like if this is the truck and this is the trailer so you're almost like that. Your mirrors only see back here. You can't see around the corner. And 
you'll see I, I've got a camera on the side there. That you see the marker light there. I'll get closer, so you can see. But that camera showed fine because the tree. Look, look at the way the way the tree goes. It kind of leans out. So I thought I had a couple inches to squeeze by. So I needed to put it over here. It's hard with a camera, but. I needed to put the trailer closer to the bench over here and then pull straight and then move it over. And that's what I was trying to do. I knew it was on this side of the campground, but a campsite, I should say, but I needed to move it that way. So live and learn. I don't blame Kenzie at all. I, I should have been out checking more. So we're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for going on this journey. I wish, I truly wish yesterday's footage would have worked out because Kenzie did end up pulling me and she did a phenomenal job. She got on the the paddleboard and she pulled me and we actually got stuck on the I pushed her to drag me out to the to the ropes out in the shoe swap and the fins on the thing got stuck which she's like that's why I didn't want to do that and she was right. She was fully right but yeah it was just funny. I was calling it a booze cruise because I was sitting there having a having a drink but the footage didn't work out. I mean the, the chip got an error in it so I'm sorry. I wish it would have been better. I, I truly wish you guys aren't upset with me for it. I, I tried my best. So thanks so much for going on this journey with me. And um, just stay positive, guys. You know, like when stuff happens, you can either be screaming, swearing, throwing fits, or you can just say, okay, you can't change it. I can't magically go back in time. I can't magically change the footage from yesterday. But... You know, I can, I can deal with my actions going forward, and, and that's why I didn't get upset. It was just like, you know, even if it would have been 20 grand, yeah, that sucks. I don't have 20 grand. I'm on a, a fixed fixed income, but, you know, I still wouldn't get upset with her because it wasn't, it wasn't hers to blame, so. Thank you. If you guys will consider subscribing to my channel, I know this is my best work. I really appreciate it. If not, then I just appreciate you watching to this time, so. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.